all right so now let's go ahead and delete a task all right so i'll come here inside of my task controller uh oh i need to add a comment for this one so i'll just say get a single task all right so next i want to uh, create the function to delete a task so i'll say delete task i'm actually choosing to do delete task first because i mean it's a lot more similar to what we've done here when we got a task update task is i think the most complex so i just want to you know get rid of the simple ones first then we'll now focus on the complex one so now i'll create a controller function which is just going to be an asynchronous function that's going to be delete task okay then i would add it here just change it to delete task okay now i will save and come back to the task route i'll create a new route and let me just duplicate this one this is going to be router dot delete then it's going to point to the api tasks and we're going to have to specify the id params that I want to delete then i'll change this as well to delete task let's auto import it control and space bar and then i'll just select to auto import it so you see here we now have delete task save that so let's come to our task controller and let's write the function to delete the task we've already seen how we can get the params yeah so let me just come down here and do a try catch block just like we've been doing before and i'll get the id params so i'll say const i'll destructure just like we did before id and that's going to be equal to request dot params so if you look at this it's very similar to what we did here so we're getting the id first from the request then we are now going to put it inside a, um, a task variable and perform the operation to delete so here i'm just going to say const task that's going to be equal to we're going to use our model remember anything you want to do inside of your database you have to the model is that door that point of entry to the database so model capital letter t for task dot we're now going to use a mongoose method that is called find by id and delete so we're going to find it by the id and then we're going to delete it i'll open that up like this and then i'll specify the id that we want to delete which is coming from this guy that we just created and destructured from the params yeah then we're going to come down here and let's do our response dot status so if the deletion operation was successful then you want to send the 200 um status and then i will just do a dot send so i'll just send the message you know before we're doing dot json because we wanted to send data back but here i'll just do dot send because when i've deleted the task i don't want to show the user that you have deleted this task you just want to show the user a message that the task has been deleted yeah that's what i want to do here so here i'll just say task deleted great if there's an error i would grab this my 500 guy here save time and then i'll just paste that in now remember when you want to delete the task you first supply the id then you delete the task but what if that id does not exist so that's very similar to what we did here if you remember correctly so i can even just save time and just copy this guy like this and after i get the task if i try to delete the task and it does not exist i will just come down here and paste that in so i'll say if the task could not be found if there's no task right then i want to return status of 404 which is not found and then some json data which is no task with id and then this guy if you know what that if um, that's just what i'm trying to do here so now i can go ahead and save this guy all right so now time to test i'll come here first of let me get all task get all task send so we have task two three four blah 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 so let's try to delete task two first just you know just see if it works i'll copy that and i'll create a new route so from this get a single task 
I'll just click on this downward arrow and duplicate it and, uh, and then here I'll just say delete task. So delete task and then let's modify it. So this is going to be a delete request and then we're just going to specify. Let's just use this one to test. I think we've deleted this one. So I would send. Let's see what we get. Oh, this is tax deleted. So what task was this? I don't even know what tax this was. Anyway, let me just go to get all task and fire that off again. I'll expand this. So let's fire get all task. So we have tax two, tax three, four, five, six. I think there was a mistake there. Let me just grab tax two and try to delete tax two first. I'll copy that. And then I'll come to my delete a task request and paste that here. Okay. Then I'll send. So you get 200. Okay. And then task deleted. So now let's try to delete this task too again. Technically what we want is when we try to delete task too again. Remember we've already deleted it once. We want to get this error that says no task with id and then we'll just put the id there that's what we want to get okay so i gotta come here let me expand this so that we can just see first of all I'll click on get all tasks to just make sure that task 2 has actually indeed been deleted okay so i don't think it has been deleted because if i send this and it's still showing me task 2 so what's going on let me just take a look at this. This is task dot find by ID and delete, and then I passed the ID which is coming from the params, and then in our route we said router dot delete API task ID, and we're calling this delete task function. So technically, it should delete. What's going on here? Oh. And I think I figured I spotted the problem. So we did not add this is an asynchronous function. We did not add our await here. So await and then task.find and delete. So this will just solve everything. So I gotta come here and test this one more time. I will go to delete a task and I already have the ID there. I'll click on send. Aha, so you see 200 error. I'm sorry, 200 status and task deleted. So we've deleted task. So let's go and get all task one more time and see if we still have task two there. Okay, so you see here, it now starts from task three down to task six. Now let's try and delete task two again. Remember, we already deleted it. Let's try and delete it again. I'll click on send. And we're getting this message here that. Oh, how do I get rid of this server message? Anyway, the message here is just telling us that, okay, yeah, no task with ID and then it just states the ID of task 2. So that's about it for how to delete a task from the database. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.